Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to monitor control devices from anywhere in the world using nothing but a mobile phone, with no fancy services to set up or contracts or monthly payments? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video, just using a PUC.js and a GSM module. This is exactly how I had everything set up for the previous tutorial. I've got the SIM800 here, the PUC.js device here, you've got transmit and receive connected, and um, these are power lines. This is running off 5 volt, this is running off 3.3. And that's all you need, no extra components at all. If you want to find out exactly how it's wired, check the description where there's a link to a page which will show you exactly which wires go where. So in the first part of this tutorial, I showed you how you could use commands on your phone to, um, to turn an LED or a Bluetooth light bulb on or off over GSM. So now we're going to look at what we could do to get data sent back now it's actually really easy to send a text message and I'm not going to put up my mobile phone number on the on the internet. So you can literally just copy this command and, and paste it in here, fill in the information and, and it'll send a message. What we're going to do instead is to respond only when queried. So in here, in the previous video, we were setting or, um, or turning off the LED when, when we got a message on or off. Now we're going to add another message called get, and this will get the temperature from this PUCJS device. I'll create a function called get temp, uh, and we shall put it in here. Now this PUCJS device has been flashed with the code that, um, that just outputs the temperature. All it does is every 30 seconds it changes the temperature value that it advertises on the BLE advertising hex value 1809. So if I were to run um, nrf.finddevices now and print them all out, we should find that amongst the devices it finds, we have PUCJS device with the service data 1809 and with the temperature here reported as um, 17. So that's 17 degrees C. So what we want to do is run NRF find devices and print the value out. Now, so I don't have to give you my phone number, what I'm actually going to do is to make get temp respond to the number that, um, that sent the message. And that's really easy to find out. In here, if you look down at the SMS thing and you see the information you get from the um, get command, there is a field in that called O address, which is the f phone number. So all I have to do is um, pass to get temp something called message.o address and I'll put number in there and I'm just going to paste in something I did earlier. Um, all we're doing here is um, we do find devices which we did before. We go through all the devices and try and find one that has the um, correct name and then once we've got that we make up a message based on the um, based on the value that we had here, and we send it back to that number, and we, um, we just print that we've, um, we've done it correctly. And that's actually all we need. So I'll get rid of this, because we don't need that code, and upload it. A few seconds. Okay, and now we're ready. So if I now type get into here, and send it, In a few seconds, it will be received by this. It's got it. It's reading the temperature, found the temperature signal from the other PuckDesk device, and it sent a text message. And in a few seconds, it'll work its way back here. Now, you don't have to use just one device. You could have several different Puck devices, or in fact, um, several other different Bluetooth low energy sensors or other things connected to this device itself. And you could report them all back when queried. There are a few obvious security concerns here. Um, this obviously, it doesn't check the phone number that sent this message, so absolutely anyone could control it. Um, it would be a really good idea to check this message.o address value to make sure that it was a phone number that you trusted. But as is, you have a really nice, simple remote monitoring system that will run for a long period of time, um, just off a, off a battery or forever on a solar panel. And all you needed was a relatively cheap SIM800 module and a PUCJS device. And that's it. Thanks for watching.